Hi Pisces, happy Sunday. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lori, also known as Sun Moon. This is going to be a general reading for the week of November 20th through the 26th. I'll take a look at the recent past, the current situation, and the immediate future. We will get some clarification with the Rider Wake and close it off with Sacred Destiny card and a Moon card. All right. We're going to go ahead and use Tarot of the Spirit World for this reading. There are no reversals in this deck. I do so love the deck, though. It's pretty graphic and beautiful, and it just sings to me. So let's go ahead and get to your reading. Hey, the overall energy for the current situation... It is the King of Wands, knowing your place, speaking your truth, which is always a good thing to do. And the overall energy in the immediate future is knowing that it's all about the journey, not the final destination. What a great thing to be aware of, to know that it's about the journey. Let's go ahead and take a look at the immediate past. We have the Six of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somehow you were giving out your knowledge and you felt like you were being judged. And so you silenced yourself and the, the divine would like you to get back up now and start again and start sharing your knowledge again, please, because you have a lot of work to do. And they know that it can be tiring, but they do want you to know just to put up some boundaries and to know that not everybody is going to accept everything you say all the time. But your words are important and your story and your truth and the way you share it is important. They want you to continue to do so because you have so many things for so many people to hear and to understand. And you are always aware of who you are. You are always aware of your thought patterns and your decisions and how they will affect people in your life and those that surround you. And, you know, they don't want you to look at what you've lost anymore. They want you to understand that if you just turn around and start again, you'll see that you haven't lost anything, that the divine has given you so much more than you've ever asked for. You just have to turn around and grab it and continue to let go of your limiting beliefs and to you know put to death those things inside of you that are no longer serving you on this path to ascension. As you continue to move forward in this light, and, you know, in this life with light and love within your heart and true reverence for the divine. And you continue to do that shadow work to go ahead and let go of those things that are no longer serving you and to ask the moon to truly show you and to shine upon you, to show you those things within your life that are true and pure and to show you those things that are no longer serving you. We do have the new moon coming up on the 23rd and that is the time to set some intentions for to get rid of those things that are no longer serving you or to bring more of something into your life that is true and good for you. And when we set those intentions with the moon, it gives it that much more power to bring into our life or to remove those things from our life that are no longer serving us. And to know when you do that, when you ask the moon to show you and you truly reflect on who you are, that you will begin to see your future. You will begin to manifest your dreams within your dream time and you will see and you'll just begin to spin a new life for you and you'll truly begin to see all the dreams and hopes and love in your future and you will truly, truly, truly understand that it's about the journey, not the final destination. Let's go ahead and get some clarification on the past. Why well, I thought you were being judged. You know, sometimes our knowledge... Um, can be a bit overwhelming and we, we think that people are judging us because who are we to know what we know? But when we serve the divine and we live, you know, and, and, we, and we're on that path to ascension, that hero's journey, our knowledge that we get from the, the divine needs to be shared, you know, with everyone that we could possibly find to share it with, you know, that will truly help them to understand that you know, there are things that we need to do and work that needs to be done as we move forward in this life, as we raise the vibration of the planet and of the universe so that we can all go home. 
But let's go ahead and take a look. You have the Queen of Swords, the Fool. Really, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's time to get back up. You were definitely right in your own actions and you weren't being judged. We know that that fear can come when you start sharing your knowledge. You're like, who the fuck am I to know all this? But the Divine wants you to know that you are right on track. You are right on target. And you need to keep going forward. Just set some boundaries. And don't listen to the critic that's in your head, okay? That self-critic, those bad thoughts that are coming in. Don't listen to them at all. Go ahead and set your boundaries. And know where you are. And let's go ahead and see if we can look at what you think you've been losing. If you would just turn around and look over your shoulder, you'd see there's all kinds of blessings coming in for you. Truly coming in for you. You know, just remember your boundaries, okay? Guard yourself just that little bit more. You know, and show compassion and kindness to the critic in your head. You know, and to the little one that was hurt. Always show that forgiveness and kindness and compassion to truly understand what it is that they need you to see. Okay, and in the current situation, we do have the Six of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Yeah, it's a new offer. There's no reason to take off and think that you don't have anything. All the blessings are coming in. Just turn around. You've got the Page of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. You're in charge. Go for it. Just go for it, young man. Step on out there, young man, young woman, whoever it is I'm speaking to. And, and take up that cup. Take up that offer. Go ahead and continue to do this shadow work. Go ahead and let go of your limiting beliefs. Let go of those things that are no longer serving you. If it's a job that's getting in your way and it's really bringing you down, perhaps it's time to find a new job. You know, maybe you need a new living environment. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, let go of those things that are holding you back and no longer serving you. You know, there is a true belief of mine that I have that true transformation requires change. You know, you can say, oh, I feel so transformed from that webinar. I feel so transformed from that experience. But did you change anything? Because unless you're changing, truly changing something within your environment and about you, I'm not sure it was really a transformation or a transformative experience. Because it is my belief that true transformation requires change. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. The immediate future. The King of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. It's time to begin again. That one thing that you need to let go of, it is time to stop juggling. It is time to let it go. I don't know what it is, but they are telling you it's time to stop juggling. You are in control. You are in control of your emotions. It is time to begin again. It is time to move forward. It is time to let go of the thing that is no longer serving you. All right, let's go ahead and get you a moon card. Just keep in mind that it's about the journey. Not the final destination. Who you meet, the things you encounter, the people you encounter, the experiences, the love, the loss, the magic. Even the failures that teach us so many things. They're all opportunities to learn and grow. For our spirit to thrive within the, within the 5D, you know, and travel the ethereal realm and the astral realm and you know, go to the Akashic Records, the Scrolls of Time, the Astral Library, as I like to call it. You know, and just explore the universe and, you know, the deep recesses of your mind and, you know, truly learn what it means to love all things unconditionally. You know, what in the Bible, right, love never fails. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is, does, it is not self-seeking. It does not delight in wrongs. Um, love is never ending. Love never fails. Love always rejoices in the truth. I know I don't have that exactly right, but you get the jest. Um, and it is in the Bible, I promise. Um, the end of a tough cycle approaches. It does. The end of your tough cycle truly, truly is approaching. 
and you are going to be so happy. You just need to continue to call the spirit in, call the divine in, and look for ways to show your love to others and to truly accept other people for who they are and help them to see the divine being of light that lives with inside of them. And I wish you the very best in life. I truly do. If you like my video and found value, I hope that you'll hit like and subscribe to my channel and come back for more. And please feel free to share my videos. All right. Love and light to you always. Bright blessings. I wish you the very best in life. I truly do. Namaste.